Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to play any kind of video in terms of format or coming from any third party source like YouTube, Facebook or even coming from cloud like S3 bucket. So from anywhere, there are certain formats of video which will not play directly without download. So those videos also we can stream using the player which I am going to show you in this video. It's a third party video player library which can fulfill almost all kind of requirements related to any type of video or video format. Here, let me search for the React video player. Open the first link. Here is the simple command to install React player. And here is the demo page link. Let me click on this link. Here, you can see so many types of third party video options showing like YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, Twitch and many more. In the last option, you can see the files. And here, it supports format like MP4, WebM, OGV, MP3 for audio, HLS, M3U8 and MPD. You can see there are so many types of formats it is supporting. And left side you can see parameters like speed, seek, volume, controls, muted and loop. So these values also we can easily customize or read using the React player library based on our requirement. I hope you got some idea like this player can fulfill all types of video related requirement. Now let's see how to integrate this video player into our React application. First let's create a fresh React project. Project created, change the directory, open this project in the Visual Studio and let's run this using npm start command. The project started and is running properly. Now let's install React Player library. Library installed, let's run again and from app.js file remove the unwanted code. And let's add React Player related code. And that's it. Let's check if this is working or not. See, it's working. Let's explore this React Player library. Here you can see the properties which we can use directly. And even there are some functions like on ready, on play, on pause, on stop that also we can override very easily. Let's add some properties like to playing so it will auto play, loop, you know, loop width and height of the video. So like that we can add all the properties which we have seen. And instead of using the URL directly, let's add some state and control this URL using some input box. Just adding typical code related to state. And see, it's simple code. Server restarted. Let's paste some URL. And it is auto playing because we added the property like playing. And the default value is true because it's boolean. See, it's working. And with the help of very minimal code, we are able to integrate a video player in our React application. Instead of any social media video, you can even read the video from your system or from the cloud. And this player will play that video. There are still a lot of things to explore that you can override very easily. And if you are interested to learn those things like how can we control the play, stop, volume. So for that, I will create another video and that will depends on the response of this video. I hope you learned something interesting. Then please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.